Hello and welcome to episode number two of Creating a Legacy. Today's match is at home against Summy. We are top of the table at the moment. They are 16th. We are favourites. This should be a good day for us. Since we're together for the Balcony Zora game, we've been on a decent run of form. We played against Volin in the next game. We were away from home and we won that 3-1. Skoblov scoring before Kravchenko scored another couple of goals. And then we played at home to Arsenal, Kiev, Savchenko and Skarlash with the goals in that one. A comfortable 2-0 victory before the wheels fell off away at Avangard Kramstorsk. They were bottom of the table, hadn't got a single point all season, and they stuffed it 3-0. Two goals in the first 10 minutes meant we were always chasing the game. We weren't able to get anywhere near them in the end, and they won that one 3-0. We bounced back though with a game against Gurnik Sport. 1-0 down just before half time. Sergei Kravchenko popping up with two goals in the second half. And he went one better in the next game at home to Kremlin. He scored a hat-trick inside the first half hour and Anton Kitscher scored as well. We were 4-1 up in that one and absolutely cruising. Igor Tymanchenko scored a couple of goals in the second half to make it a little bit more interesting. But we hung on for the points in the end. And we've just played away at Ungolets Petrov and got a 2-2 draw in that one. 1-0 one down, 2-1 up and playing against 10 men. Slightly disappointed that we weren't able to hold out and get the victory. But we drew that one in the end. But that result put us top in the table. Before we go into the game, I wanted to start running through some members of my squad just to give you a bit more background detail to these players. So hopefully you can find some sort of bond for the players. The first one to mention is Sergei Kravchenko. This guy is my star man at the moment. Ten goals in the first seven games, doing really, really well. I love him because he has pace, he has strength and he can finish. He is my talisman up front and doing a really really good job for me as it stands waiting in the wings is vadim avalentsev who is not quite as good as kravchenko but he looks like a decent player just drops one or two attribute points compared to kravchenko decent finisher good pace not as strong but as a natural as advanced forward on attack and that is the position i am playing he hasn't played yet for us this season He's mainly he's been on the bench but hasn't made it onto the pitch so far. Vitali Olkhovsky, who is leaving the club, I hope, very, very soon. He's on the transfer list. He's unhappy. One or two clubs are sniffing around, but no one has currently made a bid for him. He's got good physicals, but technical, he's not really that good. Mentally, he's not fantastic either. So I am hoping to get him off the books as soon as possible. He's on £85 a week which doesn't seem a lot, but we're already over our wage budget anyway. So the quicker I can get this guy off the books, the better. And the final striker to mention is Alexander Kamkodhira. He has just signed on £40 a week on a contract to the end of the season. Looks to be a little bit something. Definitely better than Olkowski and a natural in the advanced forward position on attack. So over time, I'll go over my other positions just to give you a good basis of what squad I have available to me at the moment. So my side for today's game against Summit is Sorindenko in goal, a back for Chopin, Lobyoko, Tomenko and Kravchenko, with Skobolov and Koshman as the two midfielders. From the right hand side, Semenya, from the left hand side, Kitsche, Skarlash from the attacking midfielder with Sergei Kravchenko up front. If we have any sort of promotion aspirations which we do at this stage as we are top then this is a game we should be winning relatively comfortable at home against a side in really poor form Koshman takes a free kick plays in and it's headed and it's over the bar from Kitscher corner Semenya plays it in Kravchenko shoots off oh, the bar Kravchenko with a header there long ball over the top it's intercepted by Loboko Tomenko Lovely little ball for Skarlash looks to get it ball, but it's intercepted nicely and it's played away. We are trying to utilise that long ball over the top as much as we possibly can. Semenya plays it into the box. It's flicked on. Kitschia at the back post. Kitschia scored. Not very good goalkeeping then by Litvinenko from Semenya's cross. All he did was push the ball up into the air and Kitschia at the back post just forced the ball home. Lovely little play there. 1-0. Throw in, play down that line. Somebody just keeping hold of the ball, but they're giving it away there. Kravchenko looks to drive, plays into Semenya. Semenya, good ball in, and it's put in by Kitcher, ghosting in at the far post. That's what an inside forward to do. 
Semenya put the ball in and Kitchen was able to pounce in the penalty spot, putting the ball home. A word for Semenya. He is not a natural right winger, but he's had a fantastic game today. And he's had a hand in both the goals. As halves of football go, that has been a very, very good half. Kitch has scored a couple of goals, ghosting in around to the penalty box. And Semenya has had a couple of really good assists. That's what I want to see from my wide players. Total domination. All we need to do now is have a good second half. And it's a very good three points from this episode. Skosh, Semenya, Skobolov. Lovely forward forward. Krabchenko. I was meant to say that was Krabchenko, <laughs> but it didn't really work down that way. And this should be Kitcher to score his hat trick. His penalty taken is only four. He steps up confidently. He shoots, and it's well saved by the keeper. Probably shouldn't have allowed him to take it in reflection, but hopefully it won't cost us. As Storodenko makes a comfortable save. Koshman, Skobolov, controlling the game in that midfield. Lovely little ball through. Kochenko's through. Kochenko scores. That's what he does. Give him a bit of space and a bit of room, and he'll score a goal. I know that space and room are the same thing, but who cares? We're 3 0 up. Lovely finish. I can now make a change. Kem Kodera is going to come on for Kravchenko, if it lets me, which it does. Kravchenko's had a good game. Kitch has had a good game as well. Semenya has been absolutely awesome on the right hand side. But I am, with 25 minutes to go, going to give him a bit of a rest. Subachev is going to come on for Semenya, who has been absolutely awesome. Throwing Kravchenko to take to Kitcher. Kravchenko plays it in. Headed up the Boko off the bar, and we can't quite force the ball home. That would have been icing on the cake. Corner. Koshman takes. Near post. Headed away. Skalosh. To Koshman. Plenty of space. Plays it in. Shoot, but saved by Lachenko from Subacek's shot. And they take it short. No issues with them taking it short whatsoever. Koshilek back to his goalkeeper. Bushman, long ball for Kuchenko's through. Can he score? He does. Ruins the clean sheet for us late in the game. Not very good defending for us. We just stood around and watched as Bushman played a lovely ball forward. Kuchenko got through, played it past the keeper, made it 3 1. It shouldn't make any difference to the overall scoreline, but it's a little bit disappointing to concede so late in the day. Free kick, played at the line. To that guy into Bushman, but given away Kravchenko. Subachev is there one last attack in this game. Subachev drives it forward. Franz Kitcher. Kitcher shoots inside. Tackle, but it's a really good tackle. And that is the game done and dusted. Helios free. Summy one. Confident, consistent, really strong performance. Kitcher should have had a hat trick, missed a penalty, but he got two. Kravchenko got his usual goal. A really strong performance from us today. We remain top of the table. Until next time, I've been the FM Novice, you've been my audience, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.